So yeah. we'll just take questions straight from you guys. We're, we're thinking we might have some chirping press, but we put them off at their time. So we'll just crack on, guys. Well, I mean, very, very simply, what's the, what's the mood like among the group in this UGA? I think um, there's excitement in the group. I think uh, how well the players have done to get here. Um, obviously, it's a, a, a brilliant competition to come and play in. Um, I think um, when you work so hard for someone, I think it's the first time in a long time the club have been here to play in this competition. So I think the boys are really excited about it. I think they're in. Um, it's a it's a great venue, a great team to go and play against. So I think them um, they're excited and rightly so. One of the big names in European football, playing in one of the the big leagues in European football. Obviously, you haven't had the start to the season you would have liked. I mean, what's the mindset like? Is it one of fear and trepidation coming to this fixture? No, I don't think so. I think it's excitement. I think where you want to play is at the top venues against the top teams and top players. And um, if you don't want to do that, you shouldn't be in this game. So that's um, that's the mindset I think all the players are, are in. It's, this is where you want to come and play. And this is, this is the... The, the venues that you that, that's really what you work so hard for to come and play in and I think um, they'll enjoy it when they get out there is there, a, is there a real belief that you can come and and take something tangible something positive out of the game tomorrow night of course we are, we are, we are here of course we believe um, I think it's um, listen do we know they're a good side yet do we know they've got some real quality players yeah but listen this is a game of football and um We've got some really good players ourselves and um, we know that we want to come here and try and impose ourselves on a really good side and and um, I'm sure we'll do that. Just a final one from me. What's your team news? Any update, bumps or bruises? Anyone hasn't travelled, anything like that? Oh, we're all right at the minute. Um, everybody's uh, managed to travel. Obviously, Shaden, he's out, but everybody else is here. Any other questions? Career, you during your playing career, you played against clubs like Barcelona, Man United, huge stages. How do you prepare your team for this game? Go and enjoy it. Um, this is where you want to play. This is the, the games you want to you, you want to play. And as I said earlier, um, you you work your whole career to come and play up against good sides, top stadiums, uh, good atmospheres. So, yeah, and I think it's something you go and enjoy. That's the most important part. Um, and I'm sure the players are look, really looking forward to, to, to coming and, and like performing on a stage like this. And as I said earlier, they've worked so hard to get here. Go and try and enjoy it. But also make sure that you, you try and impose yourself on the game and, and make sure you, you, you try and bring a real bit of positive performance into it. Tomorrow, there's three thousand runners coming over for this. What message can you give to them? Well, I think um, with the support they gave us last year um, really helped us. I th I've always said that um, when you take our fans with you, they, they they really help you. They move you, and and they're a big part of that. And I think what they did, uh, especially the way they supported us. I think even the hacking games. Um, it's the best I've heard Pretoria in a long time. The, the away hacking game, um, all their support last year to get us where we got to. So it's um, that's something that's been important for us and they've been a big part of that. And um, hopefully we can put on a performance of... Um, we, listen, we know it's difficult. They know that, we know that. But that doesn't stop you going out there and performing and trying to get a result. I don't know. I mean, we, you, you've still got, uh, we've still got Pauk to play. We've still got um, Rangers and Celtic are obviously top teams. And um, who knows? Um, it'll definitely be up there because they are a real good side, um, a proper team. Um, but as I said, let's go and meet the challenge head on. Well, yeah, but um, that, that doesn't fear me or scare me. I think um, my experience of being in um, games in Europe, I've played against some real top teams and um, we've managed to perform really well in them. Um, the first thing you've got to do is make sure that you're, um, as a player, you, you, you're you ready for it. Um, yeah, they'll move the ball at speed and they'll move you about as, as, as a team. 
that try and be tactically good. Um, obviously, top teams will change formations. They'll tweak bits in the game that you need to adapt to. But um, we just need to make sure that we go out and perform. And as I said, enjoy it and make sure we fight and we run for a club. What a big threat. Who are the guys you've identified you have to stop? Well, um, I think uh, without going into names, I think there's a few good players they've got there. Um, I've watched a lot of them over the last couple of days. Um, it's myself and my staff. Um, we know what system they play, how they want to play. Um, I've had some reports on them. The players know all about them. We've got reports on the walls. Um, so we've done a, a fair bit of work on them. And, and they are a good side, but um, as I said, let's go and try and be tactically good and um, make sure we, we come out and we, and we try and be positive as, as we can without really opening ourselves up as well. The approach for the team played was going, going direct. Is it summer tomorrow night where you're probably going to have to try and keep the ball more against that sort of top quality side? Um, what's direct? Um, that's what I would ask. I think um, we've been heavily praised for the way we've played. And when you isolate it in one game, where what's direct? Um, it's not something I get caught up on, to be honest with you. Um, I've had a lot of plaudits in the way we've played. I've had, we've had a lot of plaudits on the way we, we performed at um, the hacking games and all the rest of it. So um, we take that with a pinch of salt. We've, we, we, we've performed really well at times as a team, but um, it's, 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 it's difficult as well to, when you, to keep the ball against top sides as well. Um, you got to make sure you make sure that first pass is right, and it's difficult to to do when the when a lot of the time they've got the line share of possession. But um, if you can get that first pass right, um, can open them up in transition pretty quick. So let's see. We, we we can try and do all aspects of the game well tomorrow. You need to be clinical at this level. I think you need to be cl clinical at every level. I think we've seen that throughout. Um, the start of the season here I think if we'd been clinical in both boxes we'd be in a different position in a lot of the, this season and that's why you take uh, positivity from um, coming over here I think it's it's it's, it's never easy to, um, to to come to a place like this and keep a clean sheet but that's the aim and the tactical aim is to make sure you do that and make sure that we try and get a goal at the other end um, Any questions for Kel now please? game or will this be the biggest game that you've been involved in um it's a big game for sure um it's the biggest game i'm not 100 percent sure it depends um how you look at it i guess definitely a big game but like the gaffer tapped into before something um i most certainly um want to be part of strong is the belief in the group that you know you're not just here to make up the numbers that you can come and you, you know and get something out of this game yeah of course I think I think within our building we know very well where, where our strengths lie uh, we have a lot of trust in each other we uh, we're building every day towards that we know how it feels when we perform well um, so obviously we know we have to to bring a top performance tomorrow to to be to be in a race Um we make no bones about that. But at the same time, uh, like the Gaffer said, first and foremost, if we are hard to beat, um, then we have a platform to to go and get something. Saturday there, the three new central defenders. How difficult has it been for you to adjust to that this season? Um, well, I think um, it was for everyone to see that, yes, last, year, last season it, it clicked very well. At the same time, this is the reality in football. Um, you, we 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 want to go to the big stages now, so we're going to have to recruit players. Um, at the same time, I think we have a lot of faith in each other. Uh, we speak a lot, and we're building our relationship on a daily basis. Uh, that's something obviously behind the scenes that you might not see every day, but at the same time, it's happening, and we all realise that we. Uh, we will get from strength to strength as the season gets on. Think that Aberdeen can make on the group stages. Well, I think if we if we hit our stride, if we perform at the level, I think where we're capable of, 
um, we can cause some 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 problems to teams. I think uh, in this moment of time, um, people might say this or that, but at the same time, a couple of weeks ago, we made it very hard for some big teams uh, to go and get goals against us, get points against us. Um, I think we have a lot of faith in our own ability, um, but at the same time, we know we have to show it. Playing against a team who have sold a player for ninety million pounds the other week, does that give an indication of just what you're up against? Yeah, I think that's uh, this club gives us uh, um, a lot of indications what we're up against. Uh, they got some top top players with uh, unbelievable resumes. Um, we are very aware of that. Um, I think we should be aware of that because that way we can know where the strengths lie and where also possibly their weaknesses might be. Um, so yeah, we know full well what we're up against. We are up against a top team and we need to be top ourselves. Hopefully the result tomorrow kickstart your season and be transformative. Um, it, it depends on the result and the performance, <laughs> to be fair. But um, yeah, obviously it will give, give, a, give us a great lift. Uh, with a lot of new boys in the dressing room, um, still getting used to things, um, it will be it will be massive for for the team if we if we can get something tomorrow. Can you put your finger on why things have not clicked the same way this season so far? Um, the honest answer is no. I cannot put my finger on it. If I could put my finger on it, I would have done it <laughs> and try to solve it. The only thing is that obviously we know that. And I, I guess you guys know as well that with new players, you, you need to give them some time. Uh, you need to give them time and, and they're good players. I've, uh, we see them every day. We work with them every day. We have a lot of good players in that dressing room. So very simple. We believe in our ability. Um, and we believe that we will, we will pull through this and we will come out the other end all happy big players here and World Cup winner whatever. how much do you remember watching him over the years I remember a lot of him I remember a lot of him as something as, as a player that I've seen a lot obviously in the in the German uh, national team he's been tremendous he had a big big career he's still having a great career um, so yeah a lot Cuts on the strikers and the main threats going into these sort of games Kel. yeah but we do that for every game to be fair so um, we've obviously got a great uh, great team of analysts that will get all the stuff together that we need that we request that we want to see uh, about our own game but also about the players we, we come up against so it's obviously we are very much invested in in um, what you come up against well even more so me as a goalkeeper after able to react to situations that um their players might create. Um, my, my role is a bit more um, passive in the sense I can't go on a full press or jump over the wing. Uh, so um, yeah, I, my my role is, is is very clear in that sense. I need to I need to wait what they what they give me, what I can work with. So I need to know uh, all about their strengths. Sean, we have a question. Kel, are games of this level, is that one of the reasons that you, you did move to Aberdeen last summer? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Obviously, I've, the majority of my career I've been in England uh, in a championship and some loans. Um, what you don't get in that league is, 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 is these kind of opportunities. So it's definitely a massive pull for me to come to this club. Happy. Thanks, guys. Brilliant. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Did you see it yet?